Anyone on deck seven with a blue tender ticket? So if you're holding a blue tender ticket right now, uh, you can head down to the gangway. So all current blue tickets, you can head down to the gangway. That's located on deck four forward. You'll see Jefferson there. He'll take your ticket. He'll, hand, he'll send you down to deck three, and you'll be all set to go. So here I am in the Marquee Theatre, and I've got my tender ticket, so I'm off to the Conflict Islands, so we've currently which is one of, ticket number 90, ticket which is 90, 21 zero, which islands, are uh, owned seven. by, um, and this one's owned by a, 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 a private island, and it's owned by a pharmaceutical something or other, and uh, a lot of people come over here for um, weddings and uh, it's very uh, famous in uh, photography with uh, the Steve Harry photos and stuff like that. So uh, no queues today. Uh, the boat's having a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to head down to deck three and head off to Conflict Islands for the first time. and I'm on a pontoon um, jetty which is a bit fun because my bouncing away here nicely so I'm heading on to the conflict island which is a 375 hectare privately owned uh, island only uh, 30 people live on the island and it's part of a uh, 21 island uh, atolls um, that make up a biodiversity uh, reserve so uh, snorkeling, swimming and turtles is uh, the order for the day. Completely different day, completely different island. I think we're only about 80 kilometres from um, the area we were at yesterday. Um, the sand is soft, fine sand The because it's a private island. The paths have been graded, there's little static huts for uh, food and souvenirs and their souvenirs all have price tags on them so no bartering. Ebony walking six or five hundred Australian dollars so that's uh, 250 kina. Uh, no, I had a rethink about that 500 Australian dollars converting to kina and it's um, double plus so that would be um, over a thousand kina probably uh, 1200 1300 kina for a ebony walking stick where yesterday I paid 300 for one ebony walking stick so that's um, about 150 less than 150 Australian dollars and I paid 250 for another keynote for another one um, which would have been about 120 maybe Australian dollars so paying 500 keynote for 500 Australian dollars which is about uh, 1200 1300 keynote is just not an option so if you want to buy Souvenirs, it looks to be the best island is Kirawina. The second one would be Kitava, as long as you uh, negotiated hard and knew your prices and uh, you just don't want to spend any money on this island. So, here I am on uh, Conflict Island, a privately owned island which is exclusive to P&O Australia. And one of the things that I could probably say about this whole Papua New Guinea trip is that if any of the islands is sanitised version of paradise, this is going to be it. It has static um, buildings for bars and souvenir shops and toilets. It has a graded road that you can walk along uh, around the peripheries of the islands. And it is just absolutely beautiful. But if you want the raw, organic, Tribal Papua New Guinea, uh, this island is not the island that's going to represent that. Um, yeah. Maybe a couple of years ago you would have really got the genuine Papua New Guinea. Today we're probably getting a more of a tourist, um, a tourist idea of what uh, the, the islands are like. 
but it's still an absolutely magnificent place to visit. So if you ever get an opportunity, come on over to Papua New Guinea. We're just walking on a sandbar on Conflict Island and uh, I think if I pan around this side, I think this is the uh, surf side. The uh, waves are crashing onto this little sandbar. But on this side of the sandbar over here, it's as flat as anything. So I would say that this is the lagoon side of the uh, sandbar. And there's our home away from home, sitting there beautifully waiting for us. So I think it looks to be the end of where I'm going to be walking on this um, sandbar, because this is where the water from both sides is starting to overlap each other. And that has been just the most amazing walk this morning. Conflict Island. Into the lagoon. There's the boat. Apparently the boat can't be anchored because it's just too deep here. So um, we're actually been set adrift. And they're just going to use the engines to keep it stable for the day. And that is Conflict Island. Pretty spectacular, I must say. So I've been walking on Conflict Island for about half an hour now. And when I was out on the sandbar, there was another passenger walking with me, or walking on the sandbar. And we got talking and uh, he has come on this cruise with his family uh, they are Jehovah's Witnesses and he, one of his brothers um, has been assigned a mission at Kokopo which is about 20 kilometers uh, north of Rabaul so they basically came on this cruise to visit their brother and uh, on that day they the brother took them around and gave them a really personalized tour because that was a Sunday but when we, they, he was saying when they were at Alatau, the uh, congregation came and met him and took him on a personalised tour uh, around their congregation as well. So, this cruise is very special to different people for lots of different reasons. <laughs> and we just have to find the magic that suits you. So I guess another question that somebody could ask is why call such a beautiful place Conflict Island? Conflict Island was first spotted in 1879 by the captain of HMAS Cormorant. I'm going to have to check that again. <laughs> and was named in 1880 by Captain Bauer who was captain of uh, HMAS conflict so there's no negative things that have happened here but there is a South Sea landing strip that actually runs basically the longest part of the island the longest length of the island and Coral Sea uh, landing strip so a beautiful island has a very uh, negative sounding name but is just the most beautiful piece of paradise We can hear birds and crashing waves. It's just spectacular. So that was an absolutely gorgeous couple of hours just walking along the pristine sands where I think, I would like to think I was the first human <laughs> to have walked on them, but I don't think I am. And I'll head out on the, the pontoon jetty here. <clears throat> Back to the boat. I don't actually know if this vision will uh, give you just a sense of majesty that is this atoll. It's just amazing. The reef is right next to, just surrounds the whole island. It's just beautiful. So the 
is going to be the last tender ride uh, for this trip. So we've had yeah, uh, three or four this time, yeah. haven't we? They've been really good, nice yeah. and short. <laughs>